Today, on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Josephine Abimbola Akinriola, is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. Previously, on the Justice Court... I met Ayola during my service here as a youth copper. When was that? That was in 2005. Because I'm an SS patient, I, I usually get very... Uh, I'm always very careful before going into any relationship. So at that time I was just, I was going to 26 years. So then later I gave in to his request. I have never had in my life where somebody will, will, will give birth and from the hospital will move straight to her parents' house. He said, I have never had that. And I said, if you move from this place to your parents' house, I will not come after you. I don't know. It means you are married to your parents. To, to water down the allegation that I don't, I don't, um, I abandon my kids. I don't want to take care of them. I love children. Mm. I love kids. I could say this is the receipt for the school fees. Yes, ma'am. For the yes, nine day college yes. that you paid. And for the records, for the records, I don't have nine kids. I have, I don't have nine children. Okay. I have four. That I know of, I don't know where. So I have I'm... just one more after the three from her. No, no. I have just one more. I have just, I have four after the one from her. So making seven in all? No, making five. How many does she have the, for you? The, the, the twins, I, I don't believe the twins are mine. Hmm. You don't believe the twins? I don't are believe mine. the twins are mine. All right. So I've been asking her, give me the opportunity to do a DNA test on them. I love kids. Why won't I want to support my kids? When you told me yourself that you had an affair, with a, 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 okay, a so we're going to get clarification on that issue very soon. Yes. You know, that one will be straightforward. Okay, no problem. Okay. So now, for Jadi Sola, right now, um, you're going to give him the school contacts. Yes, yes, ma'am. So, Ayo, you deal with the school directly, pertaining to the school. I don't have issues with that. So, Absolutely not. So for, for Jadi Sola, you pay the school fees directly. No problem. Th that's one. Then two, you have to be given upkeep for Jadi Sola. Mm. She took everything in the house. She left only one chair. Everything in my house. I didn't mention. I was coming to that. Everything. She would attest to it. I'm sure she won't, she won't lie about this. Including my certificates. Ah, yes. Now, when I called her, she says she has burnt it. When Jadi Sola comes tomorrow, I inquire. When Jadi Sola comes, I ask, what did she do with all my certificates and all my personal effects? She said she didn't burn them, that she left them out in the open and rain and spoiled, spoiled all of them. Now, this is my point. If I absconded and I left her with her children, how come she took all my certificate and everything, every, everything in the house she took it, including curtains. She only left me one plastic chair when I got home. Let me tell you. So I don't know where the certificate On is. issue of this, did you take anything? Your Honor, I did not take anything apart from the, when I went home. Apart from what? Apart from the window blind that I bought. It was not in let, the house for let, months. Let, let, let me tell you one thing, and I keep saying that. Neither of the spouse, if you're living together as a couple, when the other party is not around, yes. neither party has the right to remove a pin. He told me from to go ahead, ma. He told me that I, I should go and pack my things. If I, and if I, I, left, I tell him, will I, I be I looking left for my, my, my certificate? I, I left you know our what? apartment for on almost one issue, year. Almost one wait. year before I went back to pick those things. Then, you know, well, there's reference to other things that were taken from the house. Unfortunately, Everything. Neither, neither of you can prove that to me. The only thing I can say about that is, is if actually you have done that, like it's wrong <laughs> because it's stealing. Why will I do that? It's stealing. I'm enlightened. I'm just telling you. Never. It's never done. <laughs> never. It's not right. I can never. Because so some women believe once the husband is not around, they can pack everything and run away. <laughs> no. They can be sued. They can be picked up. You I know. Must live in the yeah. house now. Your, your, your honor, what? when I came back to the house, I know I can't prove this to you, that's but that's the truth. Mm. But I, it's been a long time. I met one plastic chair, white. 
That was what I met in the house. And I didn't take it. When I left the house, I did not take the plastic chair. I left it. It was what I used to hold the landlord. I locked the door with it there. That he should come and settle with me because he was owing me money. Okay. No problem. So we're coming back to Jadi Solar. So upkeep for Jadi Solar. How much are you proposing? Mm -hmm. I don't want to just come in. I want to give you room to come up with something reasonable. Okay. Then we, um, we do the DNA on the twins now. I'll get that. Um, for Jadi Solar, currently now, I think I should be able to afford between eighteen to 20000 because I don't have a job currently now. I just, I, actually, I lost my job on Friday. You place it on twenty now. All I want to tell you, this is your daughter, and I'm very sure you want her to turn out well. Yes, absolutely. The two of you, how to co-parent and raise her properly. You have to be able to push aside all these your differences when it comes to raising the children of the marriage. Quite a few irreconcilable differences between the plaintiff and the defendant. However, to clear the doubt on the paternity of the twins, Justice Court ordered a DNA paternity test. The test result is ready in the courtroom. For now, let me have the DNA results so that we can take it all in all. Step forward. These are the DNA results for DNA paternity test on the alleged father and the set of twins. Thank you, sir. Conducted by Liz DNA Laboratories and DDC, United States. Thank you. So I have the DNA results. That's from Liz DNA Laboratories, DNA Diagnostic Center, test results, certificate of analysis. This is to certify that the result of DNA tests conducted for Ayola Benjamin Akiriola and the minor child, Taiwu Sulu Alasha Akiriola, has been perfectly analyzed as concisely summarized below. The case number is stated, child male, Taiwu Sulu Alasha Akiriola Lola, alleged father Ayola Benjamin Akiriola Lola, DNA analysis positive. The above results summary shows that Ayola Benjamin Akinri Lola is the biological father of the tested male child, Taiwo Tuluwalashe Akinri Lola, as plainly expressed on the DCT test results sheet overlay. Probability of paternity. 99.9999998%. So that's for Taiwo. The male child, Ken Dilwa Tubiloba, Akiri Lola, DNA analysis, positive. The above results summary shows that Ayola Benjamin, Akiri Lola, is the biological father of the tested male child. Ken Diwa Uluwa Tobiloba Akiri Lola has plainly expressed on the DDC test result sheet overlay. Probability of paternity 99.9999999997%. So, how do you feel about this? Well, um, I feel cleared. And um, like I said, I love I love kids. I I do things for other kids that are not mine. I am happy now that my number of my kids are not five, but seven. <laughs> How many are they now? They are now seven. Seven children. Yes. Okay. So, and I'm also saying that uh, I will do absolutely everything possible, not just taking care of their needs, which I will gladly do. You be responsible for that. Yes, what be a father figure in their life, but stay far away from their grandmother. That's as long as you did not still... marry their grandmother, and right now you are not living together either. Yes. So I don't know why you have to bring in grandmother at this stage. Okay, because the reason now, is because I'm, I'm not interested in that. I'm guiding you and I'm telling you, the earlier you focus 
upon your children. Do you understand me? Because I could see that when you talk about irreconcilable differences, so many have sprung up in your relationship. And to even crown it, you've moved on with another woman, right? What kind of marriage did you conduct initially? The traditional marriage and the registry. And the registry marriage? Yes. Because I don't think you know the implication of that. You have to tidy that up. Do you understand? Yes. Do you know? I'm listening. Um, oh. Sometimes, some years Sorry. back, some years back, because I didn't want to bring this up but at this point. Like I said, I am happy now. I have more kids. That one is absolutely... Um, so it. now, now you have more kids. We we'll take this from her. Uh, the children now with her. Uh, Ten years old. With their grandmother. Not... No. Whether with the grandmother or with her. They go to school wherever they are. Oh, wow. So wow. it's not where they stay. I keep telling you. Whether grandmother, grandfather, you have... You are living apart right now. The children goes to school. So... Um, same thing, direct payment to the school. The same thing that applied to the applicable. But now we have the twins and the upkeep for the kids, for the twins now. Because um, now there are three children. I, I can, yes, I can say authoritatively that I will take care of the school fees of the whole three kids. Mm -hmm. I will, no matter what, I will make sure I get down on them. That's good. But like I said, just this Friday, I lost my job. And that one... So, like, how long do you want me to give you for us to have a review on the upkeep of the children? Well, I'm, I'm doing absolutely everything possible to make sure I land on that job. Now I have my satisfaction. You know, the reality is they have to feed. Yeah, I know. They've been feeding. They'll keep on feeding. Eleven. And some others, you know the way it is when you have children. Other expenses that will come up. So I can't just leave that in vacuum. No, everything no, no, no. to be on her. More so, she had another claim that I didn't bother to go into. And that's talking about all the past expenses. I can see your face, but you've been doing it. I don't have it. a job. I'm... He doesn't have a job either for now. So what he, happens? He has a job. How he, do you prove that to he's me? He's working at Food Co. We Are can you? go to LinkedIn. Get he him said on, on Friday. He lied. He's a, he's a, Let me he's, see a copy of your lying. letter for pass it to him. Ayo is lying. Everything. Okay, just put in it on. Yes. And I'm, I've been out of job for over six years. My parents have been the ones sub, supporting me and my colleagues at work because they, my, my company, they, the one that has been, they, they've been supporting me. Eleven good yes, years. Look at it, it, man. Let's have, let this me have a proof. No other man. You know what? Let me have a proof that is working. I'll tell you one thing, right? If you can prove this is what he does for a living, this is how much he earns. But right now, let him prove that he has lost his job. Resigned. I was advised to. Okay. The MDs, we have worked together before, uh, 2012. So he said because of that, he didn't want to destroy my career. So he asked you to resign? Yes. yes. Three days ago. The, so he asked going... me to resign on, on Friday. On oh. Friday. If, let me show you. You know that. what will happen, if, right? On this. The legal team will write a letter to your organization. So you give them the contact. We write them to be sure that you're no longer a staff there. Okay. 
I want to be sure it's not a gimmick. No problem. No, no. You know? Absolutely. So, he, like that's them, the MD, the they? The one that replied me. That replied me. HR, there's a copy to it. No, let's, let's see that. Let's get that. You know? So, for, for the, for, because, like, okay, I'm back to where I was before with regards to the, to the twins. I would, I would, um, I will, I will work on that and revert. No, it's something we have to conclude. I'm going to give the judgment right now. And I'm trying to work on something that will be convenient for both of you. So it's something we have to round up now. God doesn't work that way. Otherwise, I can give my judgment. I can, I, I'm just trying to give a soft landing. For now, when is the time that I'll be able to get something up and doing, um... I can add that 10,000 naira to it at least to... That's 10,000 naira per child in a month. Think about it. That's 10,000 per child for 30 days. With the way the economy is... We have a review in January. Apart from school fees now. He's paying all that. Okay. He's paying school fees, he's taking care of medical bills. Okay. But for the upkeep, you have to share now. Yes. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. This is my judgment. Um, by virtue of the DNA results read in the court today, Taiwo and Kende Akeni Lola uh, now have been declared and have always been biological children of Ayola Benjamin Akeni Lola. Ayola Benjamin Akin Akin Lola. Akeni Lola. Lola is to pay the school fees of the three children of the marriage directly to the school. You have to disclose all the information you will need yes, pertaining to the school of the children to him. Yes, and provide medical bill to pick it up if and when it comes up and give the upkeep of 35,000 Naira on a monthly basis to the plaintiff Abimbola Josephine Akiri Lola on a monthly basis. Then by January, the two parties are to approach the legal team for review if we have secured a job. That's if the plaint the defendant has secured a job by then. That's my judgment. All right. Now you have something to say. Just a minute. Please be seated. What do you want to say? Accommodation. No, I don't do that. <laughs> All right. Not when it's not working. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.